I am giving away an entire master set of Paldean Fates to one lucky subscriber. And if you want to win, all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel and then leave a like and a comment on this video here. Come back on February 9th. That is where we will announce the winner at the beginning of the video. Good luck. <laughs> Absolutely busted. If someone came up to me and said, hey, Fanny, uh, can you do me a favor and can you describe the pull rates uh, for Paldean Fates to me using only two words? I would use absolutely busted. It's absolutely busted. It's so insane how good the pull rates are. And they, they need to be because let's face it, this set is chalk just full of secret rares. It makes uh, the master set seem unbelievably daunting. And trust me, it is unbelievably daunting. Uh, if you liked Crown Zenith, which came out last January, had 10 booster packs per elite trainer box, but you loved it because you got hit after hit after hit, uh, this is the set for you. These pull rates are actually better than what we experienced in Crown Zenith, and it's absolutely insane. I've always been very on the fence about Paldean Fates, and still, I think Pokemon could have done a lot more, but I'll, I'll admit, it does feel really good when you are opening up packs and you are actually getting hit. So if you're somebody who just likes ripping through packs, or you're somebody who likes opening packs with your family or your kids this is a set booster packs are really i mean relatively cheap compared to how much msrp is so it's great because you can find really good deals on pal day and fates and it should continue to come down over the next couple months this is just a set to enjoy the artwork on a lot of these cards is absolutely phenomenal a lot of the commons even have really good artworks and then you have the special illustration rares which are absolutely amazing and some of the baby, baby shinies are actually really cool too so i'm not as hyped on this set as i am for temporal forces or what i have been for other sets in scarlet and violet but if you want to open up hits this is the set for you it's absolutely insane we're going to talk about pull rates we're going to break it all down but before we jump into things i think it's very important that i leave this caveat out there we opened up over 2,000 packs of paldean fates to get a good understanding of what pull rates look like by rarity this is by no way shape or form a pull rate video that goes over how individual cards are seated i'm a firm believer that rarity pull rates are really what you want to focus on i don't believe that there's more special illustration nimonas out there than there are special illustration charizards i think if you break it down by rarity that gives you an accurate understanding of how many cards exist in an entire set i think that pokemon just prints okay well we're going to print everything on a sheet we're going to cut it down and print x amount of sheets and they break it down accordingly so uh by no means should you look at this and be like oh well fanny only pulled one baby shiny curlia but he pulled 10 baby shiny scythers so that means that scyther must be much much more easy to pull than curlia that's not what i'm saying by any means what i am saying is here's the data here's what you should expect when it comes to spending your collection dollars if you're looking to go out and rip some packs and you want to buy some ETBs, here's what you should expect. Here's the average of what you should expect getting out of your Elite Trainer Box. Here's what you should expect opening up one of those tech sticker collections. Or if you find 100 booster packs of Paldean Fates on eBay for $300 and you're like, that's a really good deal. I'm going to buy all those. Here's the amount of Ultra Rares. Here's the amount of Full Art Shinies. Here's the amount of Special Illustration Rares that you should expect to get out of those. That's 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 I really wanted to break it down uh, so that way everybody understands. I'm going to flip you around so I can stop rambling. You can see exactly what I'm talking about. We opened up over 2,000 packs. Uh, it took us about 1,400 packs to master the set altogether, which actually was not as bad as it could have been. There's going to be people who open up more than that to complete the master set, and there's going to be people who open up less than that to complete the master set. And I know it sounds like an absolute insane amount of packs, and it is. It is a lot of packs, especially when you compare it to past sets in Scarlet and Violet. Like Obsidian Flames, for example, only took about 240 packs to complete the in in entire master set. It was a much easier set to master, but something like Paldean uh, or Paldea Evolved took closer to 1500. So this is very, very close to what it took for Paldea Evolved. If you look at sets from Sword and Shield, like Evolving Skies, like Brilliant Stars, like Lost Origin, some of those sets where the alternate arts are just really difficult to pull, or Chilling Rain, for example, I mean, you're looking at over 2,000 packs just to complete a master set. It was absolutely insane. So this is still way better than what we had during the Sword and Shield era, and really kind of aligns nicely with what we've experienced so far in Scarlet and Violet. Now, pull rates are really good. I do want to make note of one thing that we'll touch on more in depth in the end here. Uh, special illustration rares, 
a little bit more difficult to pull. They continue to go the opposite direction. It used to be that you would basically get two per booster box or two per 36 packs. This continues to go down a little bit. This is worse than what we saw with uh, Scarlet and Violet 151, which was basically about one per booster box, a little bit more, one for every 36 packs. This is a little bit worse than that. And I don't think this is a perfect sample size going off of 2,000 packs. If you want individual pull rate data, you need over 100,000 packs. You need an insane amount. Uh, I think this is a good start and should give you a good idea of what we're looking at. So if you look on the screen here, and I'm going to do my best to try and break this down because there's so many different rarities in this set. And I do think some of these could probably be combined. You could probably convince me together that some of these might be the same amount of rarity especially based off of how they're formed in a booster pack, of how they lay out in a booster pack. Like the illustration rare and the special illustration rare is that was going to be in that second reverse hollow spot. The full art shiny and the baby shiny is going to be in that first uh, reverse hollow spot. And then your your double rares, your your full art, your ultra rares, uh, those are going to be in the, the hollow, hollow slot. So uh, we're going to break everything down for you and kind of get a good understanding. We're going to go through these individual numbers fairly quickly uh, and just kind of talk about things that might stand out a little bit. Like for example, the double rare category. These are just your regular art EXs. You can see we pulled 45 Fortress EXs. That is by far the most amount that we pulled. The next, uh, next highest amount that we pulled is this Paldean Claude Sire right here, which we pulled 40 of, one out of every 52 packs. But if you look down here, we only pulled 19 Espathra. Espathra is the one that we pulled the least of, and it's not necessarily the one that you want to pull the most of. The one that you want to pull the most of is probably this Charizard, not just because it's Charizard, but because it's also very competitive, so the value of it is a little bit higher. That one was kind of in the middle. We pulled 29 of those, one out of every 71 packs. I don't want to do a whole lot of time talking about regional distribution or anything like that, uh, but this there will be some spots in here where it's like okay well is that coincidental or is that just the fact that okay well fanny uh is in the midwest and fanny opened up all these packs and he pulled only uh one gardevoir ex special illustration rare so uh if i'm in the midwest i i shouldn't expect to pull a whole lot of gardevoir i don't want to i don't know if that's necessarily the case i don't know exactly how it works but it is weird it is just coincidental and this has been happening for the past several sets so that's why i bring it up uh but other than that not a whole lot of outliers here it seems like it's going to take you uh roughly a 100 packs to pull whatever your chase regular art might be if there is a chase regular art that you have but ultimately out of 109 packs you should be able to easily master pretty much all of the regular arts when it comes to illustration rares these were so easy to pull it was absolutely insane and if you look at them there is one outlier right here this palafin right here we pulled 70 of those one out of every 30 packs so basically every three etbs a little bit more than every three etbs had a palafin in it we only pulled 39 wug trio and we pulled 47 palmy but palafin was the one that came out way more but you can see out of 50 packs you open up five six etbs you should pull all of the illustration rares they were very easy to pull so i think that this is going to be very very cheap as far as the illustration rares go moving forward it'll be interesting to look at how single prices do over the weekend i screenshotted everything this morning so that way i could take an accurate understanding of what the price drops look like but some of these cards are going to get hit really hard if we look at the ultra rares the full art trainer cards as you might want to call them uh there's five different ones in the set there's two Paldean students there's the Clive the judge and the Nimona not a whole lot of outliers in here the one that we pulled the least of was the Clive uh, we pulled 23 of those we pulled 24 judge 35 Nimona so quite a few more Nimona and then quite a few more Paldean students we pulled 39 of the I forget it's set number 100 and then Paldean student uh, the, number 101 the second one uh, we pulled 34 of those so one out of every 61 packs again you open up 90 packs you should basically pull out of 100 packs you should pull all your illustration rares, all your full art supporters, or your ultra rares, and then all of your double rares, which really isn't that bad at all. You also should get, since the, the actual base set of the of the release is so small, there's only like 100 cards in the set, you should get the majority, if not all, of your regular uh, common uncommons, your hollows, and all your reverse hollows. So that's not that bad. If we look at the hyper rare category, and again, the rarities were all kind of mixed up in here, because there's so many of them, so I just kind of, I kind of went with whatever I thought might be uh, most important to kind of highlight and talk about. So Hyper Rares, we're going to talk about here. This is the most rare card in the set, the Hyper Rares. There's six of them in the set. The Wu Ching, the Chi Yu, the Ching Pao, the Maridon, the Ting Lu EX, and the Karaidon EX. Nothing really that stands out. We pulled the least amount of Wu Ching. We only pulled three of those, but we pulled four Ching Pao's. We pulled five Chi Yu's. We pulled six Maridon's. We pulled seven Ting Lu, and we pulled five Karaidon. So 
ultimately, if you pull perfectly, you should pull all of these because of variance, because there's less, there's only six of them in less than 700 packs. Again, I know Fanny, nobody's opening 700 packs except for you because you're crazy. Uh, and I get that. We have a storefront, so that makes it a lot easier, obviously, selling singles and things like that. Also, I want to make sure that I provide this data so you make the best decisions when it comes to spending your collection dollars. We're going to go over baby shinies, and I'm going to try and keep this as brief as possible because there are so many of them. You're looking at over 100 baby shinies. There's over 100 secret rares in the set. It's so insane, but that's why it is a good thing that you get something pretty much every other pack. And we'll look at full pull rates in just a second here, uh, so bear with me. There's not a whole lot that stands out when it comes to baby shinies because when you're talking about variants, when you have such a huge sample size like this, there's going to be a lot of numbers that you're like, okay, well, he only pulled one or two of these, uh, but he pulled quite a few of those. But again, when you have this this many baby shinies that are out there that you're analyzing that kind of makes sense you're going to have times where you pull like seven eight scythers or we pulled ten scythers but you're only going to pull two of the vile plume so we pulled six Oddish, we pulled five Gloom, we pulled two Vile Plume, we pulled 10 Scyther, and I'm not going to go through all of these. I'm just going to kind of highlight the ones that stand out a little bit. We only pulled two Arbeliva, we only pulled two Charmander, Charmander and Charmeleon, obviously the ones uh, not too bad that you want to go after. Entei is a little bit more popular one. We pulled seven of those. Uh, we pulled two Armorage, we only pulled one Slowpoke, so that's the one that we just, uh, you can see only one of those, which is a little bit random. Three Slowbros, it took us a while, and once we got to like a thousand packs, we were missing seven seven baby shinies. We had gotten all the special illustration errors. We had gotten everything else. It was just the baby shinies that we were missing. And Slowpoke was one of the last ones uh, that we finally pulled. We pulled two Starmie. We pulled 11 Wiglet. Wiglet was a little bit easier of a pull for us. Uh, we pulled four Dondozo, 10 Tatsuguri, uh, which was a little bit higher. Only one Artibax. So we pulled seven Frigibax. We pulled six Bax Caliber, but only one Artibax. We only ended up pulling two Pikachu. And the first one we ended up pulling in like the first hundred packs. And then we didn't pull another one for like another thousand packs after that so individual pull rates for baby shiners if you're looking for a specific one it's going to be a little tough, right? That goes back to the variance thing that we were just talking about. Shinx, Luxio, Luxray, not a whole lot of surprises there. We only pulled one Palmo. That was the middle uh, of the evolution line between uh, between Palmy, Palmo, and Palmout. We only pulled one of those. Uh, Watchro, we pulled two. Kilowattro, we pulled five. And we're going to scroll back up over here and go to Wigglytuff, which we pulled 11 of. We pulled a lot of those. Kadabra, we pulled 10 of. Pulled a lot of those. Only one Curlia. We pulled nine Ralts, but only one Curlia. That was a little bit of an outlier. We pulled nine Klefki. Nine Mimikyu, we pulled a little bit higher of those. Uh, we only pulled two Annihilate, unfortunately. Uh, this was a little interesting here. Ryolu and Lucario, we only pulled one of each of those, and that's just the evolution line. We didn't pull those. Those were like the last two that we needed, which was absolutely insane. Ryolu and Lucario, we didn't pull until like 1,300 and 1,400 packs. It was it was very, very weird. Uh, we pulled eight of the Paldean Whooper, so we pulled quite a few of those. Here's the one that we pulled the most of, the Scizor. We pulled 15 of Scizor. It just seemed like it kept coming and kept coming. Coming. So that's why you see this weird pull rate of one out of 138 packs. If Scissor is your chase baby shiny, like it just seemed like it was really easy to pull. Now, I don't believe that that's actually the case, but that's why my whole brain goes that regional distribution thing that we were talking about before. It's very, very strange. Uh, and then we only pulled one uh, Pelipper, which was a little weird, and one Flamigo. Flamigo took us like 1,100 packs to pull as well. That was a little bit weird. Uh, if we look at full art shinies, and full art shinies and baby shinies are where you might be able to be like, hey, Fanny, these have the same rarity, and you might be able to convince me of that uh they're labeled differently in the etb booklet uh but there's not a whole lot of outliers in here except for this alakazam ex the full art shiny alakazam ex we just did not i couldn't believe it when i was sorting my piles and i was like okay well how many where are all the alakazams did we really just not pull any alakazams it was absolutely insane to me i, I just couldn't understand it we only pulled three of those but if you look at something like the mew which is probably one of the more popular ones that you want to pull we pulled 19 of those that was the one that we pulled the most of that one and a space Fortress was also a little bit lagging behind. We only pulled seven of those, but everything else, double digits, 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, but 19 Mew, 19 Espathra. Those are the high ones. Seven Fortress, which isn't too weird, uh, but only three Alakazams. That's a little weird. That is a little weird. Uh, when it comes to the special illustration, I'm really happy that Mew was my chase card for this set because we pulled 11 of those. The Mews kept coming, uh, but unfortunately, the Gardevoir 
Gardevoir. We just could not pull the Gardevoir. It took almost a thousand packs. That was the last uh, last card that we needed. The last uh, last full art special illustration that we needed was the Gardevoir. It just took absolutely forever. Uh, we pulled five Charizard, not bad. Six Arvin, nine Clive, two Iono. Uh, we pulled three Nimona and eight Penny. The, the Iono was a little weird because we did pull the first one very early on and we didn't pull another one until like pack number 1300 something. So it was a little bit strange with that one. Uh, but the Mews kept coming for some reason. So that was good because Mew is definitely uh, a chase card for a lot of people and I'm happy that we pulled a lot of those. Uh, if we break everything down, and this is where things get really, really crazy. Uh, so I'm going to do my best to explain everything. So we opened up 2,070 packs. That breaks down to 230 ETBs. This sample size only came from Elite Trainer Boxes. I didn't want to use anything else. I just wanted to stick to Elite Trainer Boxes. Uh, the hit pull rate is one hit out of every 1.48 packs. So if you go to the store and you buy a tech sticker collection, you should get a hit. There's only three packs in there. All the mini tins that come out on February 9th, that's the next set that gets released. That's the next wave of products. All those mini tins, they come with two packs. You should get a hit out of those two packs because it's one out of every 1.48 packs. Now it could be a double rare, could just be some something like a regular art or it could be a special illustration art but 1.48 packs is really really strong and if you look at your hit rate per etb i mean look at this you're getting over six hits per elite trainer box on average there's only nine packs that means 66 percent of the packs in an elite trainer box are going to have a hit we talked before about crown zenith crown zenith was just under six hits per elite trainer box but the difference was is that you got 10 booster packs in an elite trainer box as opposed to the nine that you get here so the cost is the same as far as msrp levels go uh, but the pack level is different so your percentage is much higher so you're getting over 60 percent hit rate on this you're getting 66 percent whereas crown zenith you got just below 60%. You got a lot of the Galarian Gallery, things like that, other regular arts, but yeah, very, very different in that regard. Making Paldean Fates probably the best pull rate we have ever had, maybe arguably close to celebrations. I didn't go back and look at the pull rate data for celebrations, but very, very strong. If you're looking at double rares, you're expected to get about 1.3 out of your Elite Trainer box. So you open up an Elite Trainer box, nine packs. You should get one. You might get two, but you should get at least one. Those double rares, 6.81 packs. So every six in a six and a half seven packs you should get one double rare and then when it comes to the illustration rare that palafin that palm uh palm palm out <laughs> can't remember which one and then the one trio uh you should get one uh one out of every 13 ish pack so very easy to pull the illustration rares. i was a little worried about the illustration rares because the variance is so low there's only three of them that you can pull out of the set all the other ones are released in collection boxes one out of every 13 packs not bad that's a uh, per etb you should get 0.7 so you should get one but you might not uh you should get one between that and the ultra rares the full ultra rares and the full art shiny those all have the the same pull rate basically 0.7 per uh, Elite Trainer Box. So if we look at the Full Art Ultra Rares, those Full Art Supporters that we talked about before, one out of every 13.35 packs, which breaks down to 0.7 per ETB. The Baby Shiny, you're getting 2.4 out of your Elite Trainer Box. So you might get three, you might get two. It's going to be somewhere in between there. I guess you could get four. I don't know if I've opened up a lot of Elite Trainer Boxes that had four, uh, but most of the time it's going to be two or three, one out of every 3.74 packs. So you open up a tech sticker collection. If you don't get a Baby Shiny, don't be surprised because it's one out of every 1.374 packs. Full art shinies, those full art Pokemon that we talked about before, and how I said those might have similar rarities to what we saw from the baby shinies. 13.53 uh, packs, so very similar to what we saw for the full art ultra rares, and for the illustration rares, 0.7 out of your ETB, but the variance is much different, uh, and they do fall in the same slot in the booster pack as the baby shinies, uh, so it takes you about 13 to 14 packs in order to pull one of those. And then your hyper rares, this is the, the toughest one to pull. Remember, there's only six of them, one out of every 69 booster packs it's great that it takes you less than 100 booster packs for all of these that makes it much easier a lot of those gold cards through the sword and shield era were like i mean some of them were insane like it would take you 600 packs or, or something ridiculous Hyper Rare, one out of every 69 packs, uh, 0.1 out of your ETB, so not great, but uh, better pull rates for the special illustration rares. It looks like it's going to take you about one out of every 46 packs. Now, this is a little bit different, a little bit worse than what we saw from Scarlet and Violet 151. Now, there are less special illustration rares, so that variance does play a factor, the fact that there's less. That's why I wish Pokemon would have put more in this set. I think that would have made things a little bit easier, would have been a little bit easier to pull. They could have done a little bit more for the special illustration rares when it comes to uh, Paldean Fates, but... Uh, unfortunately, this is what we get. So it's one out of every 46 packs. You're going to get 0.2 out of your Elite Trainer Box. That means you're going to have to open up basically... 
five in order to get one. So if you order a case of Paldean Fates Elite Trader Boxes, you should get two. I know there's times where people get zero. I know I watch uh, Pogarev open up 100 packs or, or a case of Elite Trader Boxes, and he got zero. There was a lot, uh, I think, I mean, a lot of cases that we opened up that had more than two. So, I mean, it averages for a reason. One out of every 46 packs uh, for your special illustration, room, which actually, it's not too bad when you factor in the rarity uh, idea of it all. I just wish there was more, so that way we could go back down to the, what we had, in, at least in Scarlet and Violet 151, where it was one out of every 36 packs. So that's how full pull rates break down, so you understand what you should get out of your Elite Trader Box. You add all those numbers together uh, of your hits per ETB, and you get 6.07, which is extremely so, uh, strong. Happy Pal Day and Fates release day. I hope you guys enjoy the content. If you do, please hit that subscribe button down below. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Thank you so much for everything. I love you guys. I really appreciate you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for everything. I'll talk to you soon. Uh, until tomorrow. Uh, peace.